What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Rich Lux exclusive. Okay, so I am in New York City right now. I wanna show you my view, but I can try to like, well, let me see, hold on. So this is the view of Central Park. I'm like literally here. Um, the weather feels so good right now. It's like the best time to come up for it. It's like really cold and annoying, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, so we gotta talk about James Charles. And you already know I have all my receipts. Oh my god, okay, here we go. Snack money, that's what it says. Okay, so here's my receipts. Oh crap, hold up. All right, so James Charles is at it again, girl. So she posted on Twitter. And she was talking about, um, let, me, let me pay your bills. Let me pay your telephone bills or something. Trying to pay people's bills, okay? First of all, let me be the one to say, and I know I'm getting so much hate in the comments that I'm just so biased the house, but I remember Jeffree Star was paying people's bills and if somebody has a broken palate, he buys, sends them a new one. He's always on Twitter contributing to the people and I was just like, you know, was this a page out of Jeffree Star's book, you know? And I was like, why? Because I saw this other receipt. Let me put this one up here there. And that was that's what really got me thinking. I was like, okay, let's 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 dive deep into the mind of James Charles, girl. So like, let's just be honest, okay? Her videos, eh, not really doing too well. She's not really pulling any views. She's not posting as much. And Maybe, you know, and everyone's saying right now views are low, whatever. I don't know, girl, okay? I just I post every day. If I get views, I get views. If I don't, I don't. All I know is I can't get a view to save my life. I can't get a subscriber to save my life. I can't get a like to save my life. So I'm already used to it by now. So ain't no need to complain if I don't get no views or likes because I don't already get them. So you can't really complain about stuff you don't get. Uh, that's all, okay? Seriously, all right? Anyways. I digress, because that's going to that'd be a whole nother video. So I think James Charles is copying Jeffree Star to get clout because that type of stuff works, you know, it pulls strings, you know. If she was really smart, I'm telling you, these people need to hire me. Okay, if she was really smart, James Charles, you should have donated money to the Bahamas. Okay, you should have donated money to the people affected by Hurricane Dorian. That, the, the real tea, okay? That's real tea. Not for who wants me to pay your cell phone bill? Girl, okay? Donate to the storm, girl. Anyways, um, her views are low, and to me, her views go like this. It's like really high, really low, and like they middle out, and they're never like just really consistent, you know? Like, if you look at like, I don't know, Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson, 20 million views, 20 million views, 10 million views, 20 million views. Like, it's kind of consistent, you know? Look at me, I'm so consistent. No views, no likes, no subscribers. You know what I'm saying? It's consistent, it's consistent. So it's the same thing. So, but with James Charles, it's like he did that hair video, whole bunch of views, then he did some other video, and no one cared, and like nobody cared, and like nobody cared. Like her views just aren't adding up. So it's like, is she buying views, or people just don't care? You know, but that's the issue though. Because when you have little young fans like James Charles, some of the stuff you post, they can relate to, some of the stuff they can't. You know, like when she like showed off her house, or she showed off her Tesla, eh. You know what I'm saying? But she does something fun, it gets views. But you know, I think that the carpet has gotten pulled underneath of James Charles. She's no longer filmed with Shane Dawson. We haven't seen, you know, I'm not here to talk about who's friends or I have receipts on that. I don't know, girl, okay? These people, they have their own lives going on. All I know is what's public information. James Charles has not filmed with Shane Dawson, okay? James Charles has not filmed with Jeffree Star, obviously. James Charles has not filmed with the Dolan twins. It's like nobody wants to film with James Charles. She's over there hanging out. So with, with people who are like irrelevant, and I probably get hate for that too, but you know what? The tides have turned, because I remember, I wouldn't even mention James Charles. I get a whole bunch of dislikes, people get all upset in the comments, and now people are like, yeah, yeah, that's right, James Charles, yeah, and they're catching on. I think, like I said, James Charles has gotten the rug pulled, under, pull, James Charles got the rug pulled underneath him and he shook and he doesn't know what to do with this content, girl. To the fact that now she's begging to pay people's bills and then she posted her depressing ass Instagram photo where she's talking about having a miserable day or something. Then she's eating, girl. Then she's gonna gain 20 pounds, girl. And then do a sympathy video. But you know what? Here's how I see it. 
I always say the pendulum always swings, girl. If right now James Charles has a low point, they'll turn around and she'll be at high point again, right? They're like, I don't go, I don't know. I don't know everything, but I do know that you can't stay down forever, you know? And I think that James Charles is in a bit of a rut creatively. I think the people around him, from what I've seen on his social media, they're just like, girl, why, why, what? Girl, bah, like, what, why are you hanging around with these people? Anyways, you know, it's like the type of people who are always like, yes, yes, oh, yes, queen, yes, queen, James Charles, yes, we do everything for you, that type of thing. But at the same time, I don't know her, so I really can't really point the finger, you know what I'm saying? Because when you point fingers, you have all the other fingers pointing back at you. So I don't know. So anyways, I want to talk about this palette. I know, all right? So this palette, not sponsored, although I should be, this palette so freaking annoying i saw it everywhere and i was just like i i saw it all over instagram and i was like I, I don't want it get it away from me like it's like when you over promote something so many people are talking about this palette and it's by sugar pill this is my first sugar pill palette and i didn't buy it it was given to me by t by ally and thank you so much and i was like really so it's fun size the, well, the concept of the palette i mean a lot of money goes into stuff like this okay so the concept of the palette is all about, see like the hearts up here? Those are lives, like from a video game. See, you got hit right here. And then up here, like some of the shade names, let me read them to you, are like Cheat Code, 8-Bit, Player One, Level Up, Raise Quick, Game Over. So it's like a video game palette. It's a theme. But this part, if it's a video game palette, this part with the cat doesn't really scream video game to me i don't know what it is i don't know how that represents a video game it could have been a controller make the palette here you go 10 percent. can i get something the palette should have been a controller game over like you shape it until the cat unless this is the cat that, that internet cat that flies around that me 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 whatever you know what i'm talking about so like unless it's that but even that cat's not like a video game cat so this part I, I don't know it's like weird but i love the concept of the heart i get it i love that these are really nice colors i didn't think i would like them and i've been using majority of them in fact i have this blue on up here which is like this one right here and i used this one the other day for a video and i had to use this one and i had to use this one so i really like this palette and i like that it's super like just compact because i can still in the bag and ready to go like it's super small like i think it's smaller than the mini breaker palette it's just like so small and i like the palette so this has been the official review of the Sugar Pill palette. And I actually ran into the CEO of Sugar Pill. I've seen her, I've seen her before, but like, you know, she probably didn't know who I was or whatever. And, but I knew who she was. But this time around, she was like, oh, hi, you know, finally get to see you. I was like, oh my gosh, like she was really nice and super uplifting and cool. But so I would say if you're in the mood for like a really mini palette, this one's cute, get it. I would say I would say buy this palette, but because I'm a very like I love design and I love concept, the concept to me was a failure, but that doesn't really matter. It's this that matters, and that was a knockout to me. But the concept, this part, amazing. This part, what? What? It's a cat palette. It's a cat palette, girl. They came out with the cat palette. This to me, if I, if this from like, I don't know anything, you know, I'm just a regular consumer. This to me is like, oh, a cat palette. So they're colors of cats. Oh no, video game theme. Cat palette, oh my God. Different shades of cat colors. And you do like a black cat whiskers. Oh my, is this another idea? Like I just wish more and more companies would have super, super fun, super fun, fun, super time with palette ideas. This one should have been called the cat palette and a whole bunch of different, different cat shades or whatever. The video game palette, if it was a true video game palette, it could have been the size of a controller. That's all I'm trying to say. Is that, am I reaching for the stars here? I don't know. Okay, what were we talking about? Okay, so that was my review. I like it, buy it. Not sponsored, although I should be. But I will say I am sponsored by Manscaped. Okay guys, seriously, they're my number one sponsors. And I just want to talk to you about it for a little bit. I take it with me everywhere. It fits in my little bag. See, it fits in here. It's super cool. It's TSA friendly. Look, it's all beat up and dinged up because I use this. 
it's such a great it's just a great shaver for men um i like this waterproof so you can use it in the shower and it's rechargeable like a phone and it's just a great palette and then you can switch these out every three months so that way if they get like dull you can switch you can switch it out so i love manscape and then matter of fact if you're still watching this video i'm doing a, a meet and greet with manscape and where is it uh, California, but it's a certain part. So San Diego, San Diego, California. We have a, a meet and greet at the Manscaped headquarters. So if you're there, come over, let's like hang out. There's gonna be free music, uh, like light bites, light drinks, gonna be giveaways and stuff like that. Come meet me, get to hang out for a little bit. So that's San Diego, San Diego California. Links down below. You do have to purchase your tickets. We have a limited amount of space. So hopefully I get to see you guys. But anyways, that's all, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow's video.